what notes are in a D dominant seven chord? Okay, can it tell us what notes are in that chord? We are looking for D, uh, F sharp, yeah, A, and C. Yeah, it got it. Nice. Okay, it's fluffing it out, but yes, it got it correct. Okay, let's try a harder chord. Um, what notes are in A? And let's think about a harder chord. Um, let's try E flat, uh, E flat 11, no, E flat 9, 19, E flat 9, sus 4. Let's try, um, let's try that just for now. We can try and make it harder in a minute. E flat 9, sus 4. Okay. It's given us... Okay, well, it, it clocked that it's a variation of an E flat 9 chord with the fourth note suspended instead of the third. That's pretty good. Uh, it contains the notes E flat, A flat, B flat, D flat, and F. Nice. That's impressive. It even caught the seventh that you're meant to have in a dominant, uh, dominant 9 chord. That's actually really impressive. By this point, you've probably heard about ChatGPT, which is some sort of machine learning AI um, program where you ask it something and it can give you a very sophisticated response. Um, so for example, if I wanted it to write me a short history about uh, John Lennon, short history of John Lennon, uh, unlike typing something into Google, it will not only give me information, but it will present that information in theoretically original prose. It will give me a, a short essay. So as you can see, it's now gathering information from the internet. And I'm assuming, and it should be theoretically, that this is not just copy and pasted from the internet. It has literally extrapolated information from sources online and presented it in this basically new and original bit of prose like a human being would um, and just giving that a short glance uh, you know I'm not going to completely fact check it but it does seem to be yeah basically spot on um, he's even uh, um, he chat GPT has even identified that uh, songs like help and all you need is love were not only Beatles songs but John Lennon penned Beatles songs so that's really impressive so people have seen this as a great uh, tool for um, you know, writing prose, you know, like what a copywriter might sometimes do. Um, it's also been used a lot for coding. It can be used to, to do a lot of the heavy lifting of coding. What I want to try today, if I make a, make a new chat here, is find out how much it can tell us about music theory um, and how accurate that information is. So let's start off with... Um, what is the major scale? Let's just see what it says about that. The major scale is a diatonic scale consisting of seven notes with a specific pattern of whole steps. Um, yep, this all seems to be correct so far. The major scale has a bright and happy sound and is often used to convey a sense of joy or celebration. Um, for example, in the C major scale, the notes are C, D, E, F, G, A, B, with C being the root note of the first degree. Spot on perfect bit of information of course you could have got the same information by just searching on wikipedia or various other websites so let's try something slightly more um advanced um can it name a scale a musical scale by um just if i give it the notes so if i say uh, what musical scale is this and i'll give it the notes of the D major scale and then see if it can sort of work backwards from that. Can it can it take the notes of the D major scale and identify it as the D major scale? The scale you have listed is the D major scale. Impressive. That's cool. It seems to be taking a little longer to do it, which makes sense, but um Yeah, and it's just now kind of confirming. Yeah, so it could take the notes of the scale and tell me what it was. Okay, let's let's try a harder scale. It's still going, but I'm gonna give it another question. Um, if I hit stop generating. Okay, let's do a harder scale. Let's do um, um, Lydian. F, let's do uh, G Lydian. So what musical scale is this? Dot, dot, dot. G, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp G. 
that's Julidium, but well, we'll find out if it knows that. Ah, okay. So it's tripped up here. It thinks that's the G major scale, and it's even been as bold to then say it consists of the notes G, A, B, C sharp. Of course, G major would contain C natural, not C sharp. Uh, so there, it's not quite worked out. Okay, so what if I tell it off? What if I say, no, you're wrong. The G major scale has a C natural, not a C sharp. Let's see. Let's see what it says about that. I'm just gonna just gonna tell it that. Just thinking about it. It's embarrassed. <laughs> okay, okay, it's come back to life. I apologise for my mistake earlier. You are correct that the G major scale contains a C na natural instead of a C sharp. Yeah, well, you are just kind of um, echoing what I said. The correct notes in the G major scale. R, G, A, B, C. Yes, there you go. So maybe the reason that took longer is because it had to then sort of do a more thorough check to see what the real answer was rather than just sort of blagging like it was before. Um, okay, let's see. Um, let's ask it a bit more about songs, about songs that exist out there in the world rather than just uh, mu dry music theory. So, for example, um, let's say... Um, can you name some songs that use a 5-4 time signature? Now for this, I'm assuming it's just going to scrape from Google where there will be various sort of lists of songs using 5-4. Yeah, take 5. Yeah, that's 5-4. Yes. This is impressive. Though. Oh, okay. Just as I was saying that, it tripped up. Money is not in 5-4. Um... Sting, yeah, Mars Volta. I don't know about the Mars Volta one, but I'm assuming it is. All, all is full of, all is full of love by Björk. I don't know that song, but anyway, so most of those are in five four. Um, the money one isn't. So I'm gonna say, um, money by Pink Floyd is not in five four time. It is in, it is in seven four time. Let's see what it says about that. Oh, it just knew instantly. You are absolutely right, and I apologise for my mistake. Here are some additional examples of songs in 5-4. Um, 15 step, yes. 7 days we did have in the previous one, but there you go. Um, okay, oh, okay, it's getting a bit wild now. Take the A train, that's not in 5-4, that's in 4-4. Four, four. So, it is impressive that it's managed to give some examples, but it's almost... I wish it was stricter with the knowledge it gave, and, and it probably isn't able to do that. But because, of course, if you if you weren't someone who knew what songs were in five four or not, you might look at this list that's given us here, and um, and think that that's completely correct, where it's only sort of partially correct. Okay, let's let's give it something slightly more creative to do. What have we said? Um, please write me a chord progression that sounds. Um, that sounds like something John Lennon would write. Okay, let's see what it does for this. Here's a, it's taking its time, sort of stalling, chord progression that has a John Lennon-esque vibe. Okay, I like that, It's it's, it's found a sort of decent way of describing what I wanted, a John Lennon-esque vibe chord progression. Um, okay, C, A minor, F, G. It's very generic so far. C, G, A. Okay. Not sure John Lennon ever wrote a song using that chord progression. It's similar to the one used in the Beatles song A Hard Day's Night. Is it? Um, <laughs> I, this is another thing that chat GPT does um, it kind of fluffs stuff out so saying that Hard Day's Night features a simple yet catchy melody 
that's characteristic of John Lennon's songwriting. That's a, such a generic statement, it sort of doesn't even mean anything. Um, the use of the major chords C, F, and G in the verse, and the minor chords A minor and F, which, okay, the, the well-known minor chord F, um, creates a sense of tension and release. It's like more fluff. It's like anyone could have written that. And... You know the the use as if they're claiming that the use of the chord C F and G is something you know particularly noteworthy. So this is the thing; it doesn't need to fluff it out like this. All of this stuff is misleading um, information. You know, generic at best, pretty worthless. Like it would be better just to keep the quality over quantity of information. Um, but that said, the quality of information is pretty low because I'm pretty sure those aren't the chords. Um, those aren't anywhere near the, car- the chords of a day's hard day's night, and then certainly not chords that I would associate with John Lennon's writing. Um, it seems like it's just chosen some pretty generic, foolproof major key chords, and then decided to, that, that that's what I would want from a John Lennon chord progression. Um, okay, I'm going to say no. Try again. Those chords are not very. John Lennon esque. I apologize for the previous suggestion not meeting your expectation. Here's another chord progression that may be more reminiscent of John Lennon's songwriting style. Okay, um, so once again, pretty generic major major scale stuff. Not a single chromatic chord. Um, I would at least have thrown in a flat 7 to sound remotely like John Lennon. This progression is in the key of D major. Okay, knew that. <sighs> Features a simple yet effective... It's just always a simple yet effective something, isn't it? Um, a descending bass line in the verse. No, that's that's completely incorrect. Um, there is no descending bass line in the verse. There's an ascending bass line at best in the bridge, but not really. Well, the bridge prevent, provides a moment of contrast with a minor chord. So, ChatGPT, obviously for some applications, um, people are starting to see promise with it. I think the most exciting thing about it is the fact that um, if this is what we've got now, maybe in five years, it could be something that's really useful. And I can imagine in some industries, it would it would be a really useful tool. In other industries, it could actually completely upend the industry. But at least for now, um, I think my job is safe. I think talking about music theory, talking about music, um, it's a long way off. Until we have something which can actually listen to the original music and make judgments on that, um, then it's not much use because all it's doing is parroting stuff it finds on the internet. And a lot of the stuff written on the internet about music theory um, is is also it's just not right. It's not correct. So... Um, if that's its source of of um, information, then it's never going to be particularly useful. Um, but yeah, interesting. Let me know if you have any other experiences with ChatGPT, uh, any other more interesting ways of using it. And um, yeah, see you soon.